and welcome to week five with Celestine and her gut healing journey here at the farm. It's uh, five weeks done out of 12. And um, today we will be deep diving into the detoxification process because, yeah, you just finished four weeks of quite deep detox. So we want to yeah, just give give a whole episode just to the detox part because it's such a m- big aspect of what we do. Mm. So what do you, yeah, just share from your own words. All right. Hmm. Um, yeah, so it's been four weeks of use fasting, except the last week when we took a deep dive and we... Um, I drank first the master cleanse, then just water, and then I did a dry fast for the first time in my life. Um, and it has been, um, yeah, I'm, there's been s- so many things happening over the last four weeks. Mm. And I think um, uh, what I feel that I want to celebrate the most during these four weeks is going from I feel that I cannot feel my emotions, mm. feeling completely like, completely like blocked and uh, um, uh, yeah, shut down emotionally, like, 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 and I couldn't, couldn't find anything. It was just like, Wee! and go from until like today where there's like that channel, emotional channel has been opened up. And I have gotten to know it in different ways. And now I have, I, I'm, and my body has become used to the process of releasing emotions. And that I now on, yeah, more or less a daily basis, I have emotional releases. And that is such a, that was one of my biggest wishes coming here. Yeah. To get back into contact with my emotions, living from, you know, like that part of the rainbow with those pretty positive, colorful emotions, but like all of them, like all the emotions of the human experience and spectra, because I knew that they were stuck inside. And I also know how much this is um, causing um, unbalances in the body, which in turn causes disease uh, or in my case, um, intense stomach issues Mm. um so uh, yeah (laughs) yeah thank you so much for sharing i mean it's it's such a great journey it's it's been an amazing journey that you've been on and being like on the sidelines with witnessing your progress and so we will be deep diving a little bit deeper into the different aspects of the detox today because Mostly people think about the detox as a physical thing, like you stop eating and you have different certain uh, detox symptoms and and, um, physical effects. Maybe we start there, but we will also go into the emotional part that that you already touched upon. But there's also the spiritual part and uh, the belief systems that gets um, brought up to the surface so it's a it's a full spectrum experience really so that's what we want to talk to you talk about today so what about the physical what have you noticed in the physical yeah so um we i think we touched upon quite a lot last week as well but you know initially going into the fast um the first seven days was really like easy breezy for me. I was enjoying the juice. I was not feeling I was not feeling hungry. Um, uh, what I noticed, the, but what I did notice from the beginning is that uh, I have a low blood pressure pressure as it is, and starting the fast made my low blood blood pressure become even lower. So yeah. I really, you know. I have this type of person. I do things quickly. I move quickly. I'm fast. I'm de- 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 I, it can just be like the little blip of a beginning of a thought, and I'm all, my body is already moving. Like, and I need to get out of bed. And I, so it has been a 
re-educative journey to like slow down because <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't move as fast because I would get so dizzy and I, and um, there was no way to um, not understand the language of my body right so yeah. slowing down was a big part of uh, these four weeks as well and also allowing myself during this period not to uh, um, perform because I have a lot of expectation on myself to keep up with my studies read books uh, this and that and just really surrender to to my body and to my process and knowing the more I can like let go and surrender right now in this very unique container that I'm in for three months it will allow me to go deeper into my healing which will serve me in the future so um yeah and then as we progressed along of course it became i had different uh, um, cravings coming up and uh, food obsessions and i started becoming really frustrated with the juice and projecting my my emotions onto the juice, like blaming the juice basically, and <laughs> had to go through that, um, yeah, understanding that um, this was just a way for me to cope with what I was feeling. I was having difficult emotions and I was blaming the juice for it. And um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a classic one. Because the food is such an essential part of our human life, you know. So when you take that away, it's like, it must be because of the juice that I'm feeling like this. <laughs> so what was it? If it wasn't the juice, what was it? Um, it was just feelings. Yeah. But I, I have still have to wrap my head around it a bit. Because now when I'm on, on fruit, I have a four months, no, four weeks fruit detox in front of me. I'm basically feeling the same about the fruit. I'm like yeah. frustrated about the fruit. I'm disappointed. I want this, you know, mm. haven't really gotten that part clear yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what's happening is that with, with the, with the physical aspects of the detox is that we have the ego and it's like, we have so much protection in and around feeling the emotions and we bury that under the food and doing things and keeping ourselves occupied and, and through belief systems and, 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 and a bunch of other things. But when we start to go on a deep detox, we remove all these layers and we can go right into what is it that is not processed? What is it that is not uh, communicated in the past? What is it that is not experienced? So all of these emotions and experiences are coming to the surface and for you, it's been a lot with like people pleasing also, like not projecting anything on someone else. So it was very convenient for the body to project it on the juice because it's not going to talk back. It's not going to feel sad. <laughs> it's not going to, you know, <laughs> create anything. And, and, yeah. and it was interesting when you realize that you go like, ah, oh, yes. And then we can also allow even more emotions to come to the surface. And you have all of these. Yeah, we can talk a little bit about this, the, the emotional, that you basically you're, you're, you're breaking through this layer that is, uh, so as you said, it's one of the biggest things and biggest reasons why you are here to access those emotions. And then they come up and they, yeah, you get to experience them. Hmm. So that is also expressed through many different ways. And we are trained and programmed and, and, and brought up in certain ways with this is okay, this is not okay. And then the body finds different ways of expressing that. And it's very clear how that has been expressed for you during this time. And it's also... Yeah, it's not always the fun emotions, right? The, what you said, the you wanted nope. the full spectrum so yeah exactly yeah yeah and getting used to that accepting that that the feeling having a shitty day or feeling bad or having bad emotions it's not something to be afraid about because that's what i've i've had a lot of fears around feeling emotions and not knowing if i could handle it 
because yeah. yeah and going i'm learning to that and gave building confidence right yeah because yeah i'm i i i, I can handle it yeah and um yeah, and that's also what happens. The deeper we go into the into the detox, it's not only clearing out the uh, physical blockages. It's not only clearing out emotional energies. It's not only accessing the unprocessed stuff. It's also teaching us because it's 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 like a stress resilience. So if you the way that you deal with the emotions on this level, hmm. uh, you will have such a different experience handling it because we did the detox we are not on the detox forever it's 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 a period of time in our lives it's a healing tool it's not something that we use forever uh, it's 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 temporary right so but it's a it's a learning ground it's it's mm -hmm. a it's a tool to access unprocessed things but also retraining the body to this is how we operate when we feel things we process them we share them we 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 uh, approach people who who we feel safe in and around and we allow them to to process and when we are so deep in in the detox because we have no defenses up then it's just readily accept accessible and then when you go out in in the world after you leave here you will have such a different different experience of how how to deal with these things. Yeah, I can really feel that already. Yeah, yeah, and um, it's 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 like um, like um, yeah, an emotion like if it has its natural free flowing process, it it lasts for ninety seconds. Yeah, and uh, just uh, and knowing that and that it's a cycle and it comes in waves, right? So. Um, and if we get stuck in them like I've been very much afraid of because that's my experience from the past like I get stuck in an emotion and can't get out of it that has, I have also learned that this is directly connected to um, uh, abdominal pains is mm -hmm. that uh, being uh, breaking the process of an emotion and that's that's what I've been doing a lot to, for example a way that I do that is uh, I start thinking about the future I would start thinking about something positive waiting for me in the future or something that makes me feel good. That's like, ooh, and life is not so bad because I have this beautiful thing coming. And then I don't allow the, the emotion to have its cycle. So it gets interrupted, interrupted, interrupted. And that causes abdominal pains. Yeah. So last week we talked about the, the fact that you don't have much stomach pain at all. Is that still the case? Um, when I was in the deepest part of the fasting with only water uh, and then dry fast, there was uh, a lot of uh, stomach pains. But I've mm. also come to understand that that's the way that my body, when, when my body is releasing emotion, it goes to my stomach. Yeah. And then um, there they get processed. And um, so... I was not as afraid of having those pains because I was I cognitively understood that oh my body's processing like, pains are releasing, but as soon as I came out of that so and started to for a smoothie and then juices it's been super quiet. Yeah. I, have, I haven't had any pains. Yeah. So um, what we what we've noticed during these weeks is that you've started to 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 learn your own body's process and what the 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 part that the stomach pain is playing in the big picture, yeah. and that you can see how the body is processing and and that your go to thing is to store it in the stomach. But so so the body tr still tries to do that, but you don't allow it, so to speak. You, you go there and you look and you feel and, and, and you do all of these practices to, to mm -hmm. make sure that it doesn't get stagnant there. Exactly. So it, it feels right now that it, it's still going through that process, but you have changed your belief system in and around it. Uh, I know it, you, you shared with me a couple of weeks ago that you said, oh, I understand now that, that 
when it starts to hurt, it's just things, it's the stagnant energy moving. So it's, it's freeing me from things. So it's almost like, like with, with my, uh, I, I don't have it stored in, in my, my stomach. I have it like <laughs> spread out over the whole body. Uh, but what I feel is this, I can almost feel when something is about to go, come to the surface. And it feels like for you that it, it's, it's the body's way of saying we want to bring something to the surface. Yeah, and help me keep the energy moving, keep, yeah. keep reading, like stay calm mentally and yeah, yeah be present so almost, with that. Yeah, it's almost like a cue for you to, to start working to release whatever it is that needs to be released. Yeah, yeah it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. Hmm. Super cool. Yeah. And another super cool thing is that my skin is clearing up, like facial skin is clearing up immensely yeah. after I don't know, 15 years of adult acne because I mm. got acne first when in my early 20s. And it's been a yeah, never-ending story. And now it's really baby smooth skin breaking through. First, like a week of a detox, my skin it was thick and like rough but obviously that skin yeah pace and slowly now it's really nice the real um, thing after years back now Yeah, it's been very cool to watch because I, I've seen the layers coming off. It's like for every day now, it's it's like it's it's clearing up more and more. It's very it's very interesting to see. Yeah, congratulations to that. That's Much. fantastic. Yeah, kidney. Yeah, and it's always for my. Okay, so it seems like we lost the connection with Selle. And see if she comes back soon. Yeah, you're breaking up a little bit. You're breaking up. Do you, can you check and see if you're in the on the right network? I will. I am on living Just see with that you have full two, two point four G. Is that the usual one that you're on? Yeah, that's the only one I can see as well. Okay. Interesting. Rainy season. Anything can happen. Yeah, I think my computer is a little bit tired. I can hear the fans working hard. Oh, okay. Okay, that might be it. All right, so what about the belief systems that you have managed to break through during this detox? Is there anything that stands out? Um, yeah, I, um, I feel that, um, um, let me see what I wrote here, um, especially the belief system regarding um, the, the future mm. is... Still, I still an ongoing process how to uh, um, download and install this new program. <laughs> but it's um, the fact that the mind is creating the future based on the past. Mm -hmm. That's like a massive limitation if I allow myself to create my th future through my mind. Um, and um, it's also like a very much a coping mechanism. Like it's, it's like my safe place going into the future and nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so that has been a really, really big one. And with that comes also like the fear of if I release, because it has to do with attachment. I'm attached to certain outcomes, the way my, my future, how I want it to be. And 
releasing attachment to to dreams to goals to desires it's been um, it was a big like grieving process mm. letting go of all of that but i also know that letting go of my like little pre like my box the little box that i have put my future in will allow a lot of other energies and forces a lot more space to create um, the future together with me. Mm. Um, and there's also been um, yeah, the belief system that I cannot feel my emotions are completely, that program <laughs> has been downloaded and installed clearly. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's a couple of other things um, um, that has been coming up as well. And um, it has to do also with performance that I have to perform to be worthy of love yeah. and um, still working on that one because it also has to do a lot with self-love and my the image I have on my myself and mm. uh, I think that's a very much a long-term um, work in progress <laughs> yeah I mean the receiving and the allowing and the self-love I mean it's a big one so it takes a little bit of time. So what we have been focusing on is the gut. So all of this will come and we will also continue to work after you leave here. And, and uh, you know, so there's a, there's a long-term process of the different things. But it's so cool to see because your body is like traveling in light speed, just <laughs> releasing and processing and just, it's like it's just throwing <laughs> things out of your body yeah. it's 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 very impressive to watch how 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 much the body wants to heal yeah i really feel the divine timing of it all it's like my body is super happy to be here and do and finally yeah it's yeah. really moving quite as a faster than anything i've experienced before yeah definitely I mean, that's how I felt, too, when I started, you know, if I was like, wow, this is light speed. I mean, people say, like, there is no quick fix, but it feels like a quick fix, you know, when you start to uh, experience everything and you start to understand, OK, I have many things to work through. And the body just goes like, yeah, ready, let's go. So it's like it yeah. can't go any faster. It's just it just doesn't work that way. You know, when you when you feel what is leaving your body, when you when you see how the body is aligning, you understand like the body can't do this any faster. It's just mm. not possible. <laughs> so it's it's like it's going as fast as it can. It, it, that's how it feels like for me. Hmm. Yeah, cool to hear that. Thank you for mirroring that because I have nothing to compare to, right? So yeah. Um, because we have to also, we have to work with the body. So the body decides the speed. And some people it goes yeah. a bit slower and some people it goes a bit faster. It depends because it's, it's so much also connected to the nervous system and how safe we feel and how, how, how it's like how fed up are we of ourselves, you know. That's how, that's how I was. I was like, I'm not doing this for a yeah. second, you know. I'm I was not, pretty I, fed up too. Yes, I'm like, I'm <laughs> so ready. And that's usually the people that we work with. And, and when people are really ready to, to, to change and they just surrender to the process, it, they just take off. They just, it just go so fast. Mm. It's very impressive to see. Yeah. So you also know, uh, mentioned a little bit about a spiritual aspect of the detox. Is mm -hmm. that anything you would like to share about? Yeah. Um... I mean, I can feel that um, I'm tapping into more and more the in 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 in, a, in the energetical work of it all, meaning that you know the healing <clears throat> I do for myself um, is um, <clears throat> in resonance with. The <clears throat> Let's say Mother Earth. What, what does she want to achieve? She wants to be in balance. She wants to heal. And that's exactly the same thing I want. So when I tap into like Mother Earth's energy and seeing that reflected into my own journey, that becomes very spiritual and very profound for myself as well. 
um, and um, um, and I also know that you know the work that I'm doing here, the positive impact it has for me, it would also heal all my relationships, my with my family, friends, ex boyfriends. You know, it's uh, it can really help other people, yeah. and um, that is beautiful to have that like that support on the way and motivation as well because. I have a lot of um, hope to be helping people in my close family to find their way back to health. And but you can't push or rush anyone. But knowing that, if just for a simple fact that if I calm my nervous system down and it becomes balanced, that will like radiate radiate, radiate out to everybody I meet, and that yeah. will be a healing energy that I, me that I can spread. So, yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah, that part is massive. I mean, when we talk about here living with the spirit, what we want to achieve, it's like we want to help to heal and teach conscious leaders in the world who wants to uh, join us to build like the new world and to to build a new a new place uh where you navigate from it's like a new way of being and when you heal yourself that's why we call it leaders and teachers because once you heal yourself you will have that effect on the people around you no matter if you are a teacher or a healer yourself because when you heal yourself you will have a a, a positive impact on em anything as you said, anything that you, any, anyone that you meet or anyone that you have interaction with, especially the close friends and family, because our closest community, because what we come from is a place of non judgment and we don't try to force anything on anyone else. It's like just because I have healed, you don't have to do the same, but just my, as you said, a, a, a grounded nervous system is extremely healing for for another person so hmm. it, it gives ripples effects no yeah. matter what you choose to do moving forward so it's really a reinvestment to yeah it's 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 yeah. so beautiful <laughs> all right is there anything else that you would like to add maybe we add some um, inspiration and courage a little bit of um, brave heart emotions feelings into anyone who is looking to do a deeper detox but they feel like oh i'm oh this doesn't <laughs> sound nice <laughs> what would you say uh it's definitely worth it it's mm. um it's a huge investment for the future yeah and uh yeah it's the biggest gift i can give myself and um, everybody around me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I always talk about like the short term challenges or the short term like mess you need to clean up, like <laughs> take accountability for whatever happened in the past. And it's like a short term thing for a long term freedom and long term uh, vitality and creativity. And I mean, it's, yeah, it's a big deal to clean up the system. Yeah. But it's uh, very, very worth it. Mm. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, and yeah, I just want to come back to the fact that you don't have any stomach pain. That's just like in four weeks. And I mean, really, oh, five weeks now, but last week it was four weeks and, and they were mostly gone at that yeah. time uh, too. So that's mm. incredible. Absolutely mm -hmm. incredible. So for you, it's also to stop and celebrate that for a while. Like you did that to you, for yourself, that you did the work. I mean, of course, we know how to do it and, and, and how to set it up. But there's something we have to do by ourselves. And you did that. And uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> it's extremely uh, encouraging and powerful to watch. So thank you for, for, for being here and sharing that with us. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyone who is interested in uh, 
doing the gut work, resetting the gut, just like Selle has done. We will put together everything that we know about healing the gut in a four-week uh, online program that starts September 4, that we will share everything, how we do, how we work, what tools we use, everything, and that you can create your own program at home using everything that we teach you. And uh, you will be able to create, everyone has their own setup, like... There's so much information and the different protocols, but everyone can set up their own way of doing it and uh, their own lengths and everything. And we will share everything we, uh, we know about it. So that will be super fun to put together. And uh, yeah, it starts September 4. So if you are interested in that, just reach out and we will send you the information once we start to launch. We will start to launch pretty soon. Uh, we will also host a free masterclass about the topic uh, on August 14. So stay tuned for more information about that. So then we will share a little bit about our philosophy and um, how everything is tied together. And uh, yeah, if you've been struggling with a lot of stomach pains, like a gut health, m most people run around with these things for years. Yeah. And you've tried everything and, you know, just like Sella has done, uh, maybe this program is for you and you can check out the masterclass to see if this feels uh, interesting. We will also share more about the gut health program at the end of that masterclass. Um, so if that feels something for you, please um, reach out and we will provide all the information for you. And just DM me if you have any kind of questions. And uh, after, if you watch this, you know, this will be available in the ether even beyond September. So then you can just reach out or check out our website, livingwiththespirit.com, because there will be a self-paced program. We will put everything together and offer the self-paced program even after that. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you soon for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.